It's been a long time since Lexus has given us an all new GX. I'm Tom Bolk with the Seattle International Auto Show. And this is the third generation, all new and well worth the wait. The GX, now the 550, has been re-engineered from the ground up. It starts with an all new architecture with a fully boxed frame and new squared off sheet metal that could also be described as fully boxed. A reminder of what it used to look like. The first generation launched back in 2002, that was the GX 470. Our second gen was back in 2009 with the 460. And of course, this is the iconic Lexus off-roader and this third generation has been long awaited. So we're so excited that you're all here to experience it today. At a Lexus event held in Tucson, Arizona, automotive riders from around the country drove the 550 on and off-road. This one concentrates on the pavement life. The second generation GX has been attacking trailheads and roaming shopping mall parking lots for well over a dozen years now. So Gen 3 is a welcome arrival. It's about five inches longer now, wheelbase stretched by 2.3 inches, and it's based on the same architecture as the Toyota Tundra pickup. So the foundation is very strong. There are six different models to choose from, something for everyone. As long as you're upper middle class, a base premium model starts at 64,250 bucks. I chose one step up from basic, a premium plus model in Nightfall Mica that retails for around 70 grand as tested. Rolling on 20 inches, full-time four wheel drive is standard. There's four high and low, plus a Torsen limited slip locking center differential. I see premium plus as the sweet spot. This is durable synthetic cowhide that's heated and vented for the real stuff and a massage feature move up to the luxury model an extra eight grand. Premium and luxury GXs seat up to seven depending on the second row. I'll go over that later, but for now, I'll tell you that I shot this with a very wide angle lens. Ground clearance has been increased. So the 550 premium and luxury units will achieve 8.7 inches of ground clearance and our overtrail will achieve 8.9 inches. The approach angle is 26 degrees on all models and then the departure angle is 21 on premium and luxury and 22 on overtrail. The V8 has been 86 until the hybrid powertrain arrives, all GXs get their motivation from a twin turbocharged 3.4 liter V6. It pumps out 349 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. That's an additional 48 and 150, respectively. Always good, though, it has bulked up by 300 pounds or so. The 460 maxed out at 6,500 pounds when towing. This premium plus model can tug just over 9,000. Cog swaps happen seamlessly, nearly imperceptibly with a 10-speed transmission. Yes, manual control is a thing. The large head-up display is a $900 option on Premium Plus, worth it. Only Overtrail gets a locking rear differential, plus crawl control and downhill assist control. I think most owners will do just fine with these drive modes. We're all going to miss the V8, but at least the Turbo 6 is pretty darn snappy. Lexus says the 0 to 60 dash will take six and a half seconds in this. Lots of torque low in the power band and a nice growl, Lexus appropriate. The bones of the outgoing GX and a sophomore in college share a similar birth year. So it's no surprise the new GAF structure shared with Tacoma and Big Brother LX feels significantly stronger with less chassis quiver over bumps and potholes. The front suspension is double wishbone. The rear is four link with coil spring. There's less bounding. It's more buttoned down now. Driving dynamics. Well, this is very refined, very comfortable. It's a Lexus after all, but it's also a body on frame truck. So it's not gonna be driving like a car. If you want more of that SUV crossover type of dynamic, then Lexus will be very happy to sell you a TX. My colleagues that drove Luxury Plus models, which add adaptive suspension, say it adds an extra layer of control and refinement, something to check out on a test drive. The raised fender edge gives clear positioning. 
Visibility is excellent in the GX, all the way around, no blind spots. The seating position is raised up quite a bit. What everybody seems to want these days, there's kind of an arms race going on. Plus, this is very quiet. I mean, it's a Lexus, right? The new platform comes with updated ADAS technology, like adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking with emergency steering assist, and an emergency driving stop system that will slow the GX to a complete halt and activate the hazards if the driver is unresponsive. Traffic jam assist is available as well. Fuel economy, well, of course, it's not great. This is a luxurious, powerful SUV. The average is rated at 17 miles per gallon and it wants premium fuel. You expect all that. If you like the look of this premium plus cabin, understand it only goes up from here. The ambiance is a hike up from the 460, that's for sure. Speaking of, thanks for these, Lexus. The brand's obsidian trim is present and accounted for. All models get a standard sunroof, though there's a delete option for overtrail models for people using rooftop tents and gear racks. A panoramic glass roof is optional on Luxury Plus. Not sure if this trim is from real trees, but if you have to ask, does it matter? There's padding for knees when the GX is rocking hard. Plenty of power ports too, even a 120 volt outlet that I didn't shoot. A cold box is available in this space on higher models to keep the kids' go-gurt chilled. It and the other storage areas are on the smaller side for a larger SUV. The 14-inch Lexus interface is a huge upgrade from the old trackpad technology. It doesn't really have a home screen. Most of the commands rely on voice prompts, and those rely on a cloud service. That's another subscription that you're going to need to pay for after three years. Hey Lexus, is there an In-N-Out burger nearby? I found seven results. The first is In-N-Out burger at North Cortaro Road. Digital Key is available in most models. It relies on that cloud subscription. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are wireless. And there are a few hard buttons, but mostly this relies on voice and touch commands. Moving to row two, there's a good amount of space for adults here, even three across. Captain's chairs are available on this Premium Plus and both luxury GX models. A separate climate zone and a warm feeling for the outboard cushions keep up the Lexus image. The floor has a bit of a spine, nothing overly intrusive. Getting into the way back means any kind of car seat needs to be removed. And it's kind of a hike up on the way to row three. Again, overtrails don't get the additional seating of premium and luxury trims. Is this a roomy space? No, it's not, and that's to be expected. I'm five foot nine, and I have just enough headroom. Knee, leg, and foot room, though, those are kind of cramped. Um, this is an occasional space. The cushions are down low. At least there are cup holders and USB ports. Here's something I like. This is very handy when the cargo area is full and opening up the back would cause everything to fall out. You can just reach in and grab things. There's a kick to open tailgate option. Remember, the old GX had a side swinging door. I love lift gates because I live in the Pacific Northwest. We use these as big metal umbrellas. There's space for a hat and gloves under here, that's about it. Seats filled, the space measures out at 10.3 cubic feet. For standard carry-on luggage, it's a non-starter. Only the base premium GX suffers from a lack of these. The real advantage is raising them, since the load floor is higher than what you'll find with unibody construction. This opens up 40 cubic feet. That's about five less than the five-passenger overtrail. Go to the back doors to open up max cargo space. That's 77 cubic feet. I suspect the factory in Japan will be busy turning these out if the attention it draws is any indication. Wonder if Lincoln might consider something like this off the Bronco architecture. The GX is large and in charge, exactly what wealthy buyers are looking for. And now it has the kind of sophistication that people expect from a body on frame Lexus. Check out the GX 550 at your local Lexus dealer. For the Seattle International Auto Show, I'm Tom Volk.